uh, okay, trading tutorial stream. We're starting this at about uh, 102. Okay, so trading tutorials. So a lot of people are asking how to make pets, how to do stuff in trading. There's a whole lot of tricks to it, uh, but like you don't, a lot of it is experience because even if I tell you the right thing to do, the market will shift, uh, the things will change. So that really doesn't matter. What matters is you gotta learn how to identify what would be worth it and what wouldn't be worth it. I won't tell you on the high end items, but I'll tell you by giving you some examples on the lower end items because those are the clearest and you can learn how the system works from that. Okay, let me just post my message. So, um, first thing you gotta know about markup is, well, one type of markup is there's a real markup, there's an apparent markup, and there's a made up bullshit markup. So that's the three type of markups you have. Um, uh, um, so the real markup would look like something like, uh, let's say, D class. So this type of item, people are selling for 104%, 104.38% or so. Now, if you look at the market price, there's a sales volume on the right side and a markup on the left side. So sales means how many are sold. Generally, if that number is big, you know, you know this is a pretty stable market. And then the west side, uh, this is um, this is what the market was hovering at. So, so it looks like it's between 104.38 eight and maybe like 105 maybe up to 106.25 and you can see them the, the differences by clicking on these little buttons here and that shows you how much the amps were sold uh, just FYI I've actually sold some of these spikes here I think one of these are mine I think that one might have been me but then uh, yeah most of them around here it looks like you look like some of them are sold at 106.25 I know how much they're sold exactly because this is one of my my products that I deal with 104 and that one's sold a little too cheap So a couple guys sold super cheap so that they sold about 103 so, so so you look at this kind of market and you can tell based on the data here whether uh, what the markup is at now Because the volume is so high you don't have to worry too much about fake markup you also don't have to worry about a parent markup because this is just a good item. It's been translated a lot. Now let's look at something with a, a parent markup, but doesn't really worth it. It's not really worth anything. There's two types of these apparent markups. One of these apparent markups is if you look at like a stone, like a diagon fire drops, which I've never seen in my life. So this is a good example. So a parent markup, you go, oh my god, my item is worth 270%. God damn, I'm rich. You click that. Okay, so remember, it's 270%. Look at the markup drop. Blue, straight to the ground. Look at that, nice, straight to the ground. So the last couple times it was purchased, it was about 140. And that one was like very close to t uh, 120. But at one point it was 700, which might have been the first guy who didn't know what he was doing, risking his life on a little bit of purchase. But you see the price going down super high, uh, su super sharply. And then there's been no buys, literally, for two years. Um, well, this, by the way, is also the stone version. So the stone versions are usually sold less than a refined version. This is the refined version, same item. So this has a bit more market history, which is normal for uh, the same item is usually has less market value because most people like to refine it for some damn reason. I don't know why. So people like to sell. Oh, oh, I know why. Because the miners who mine usually have a very good refiner. So they would refine and sell it. That's a better margin for them typically. So this one looks like it's hovering around 150, but look at how often it's being purchased. So this is an, a decade view, but if I go back to like the monthly view, there's nothing. If I go back to the yearly view, there's like one item I think in here. So uh, it's if you list on auction house, chances are you list like three, four times and nobody would buy. So that's what it meant, means by a parent. Now another example of a parent is like Rubio's, Solomate Rubio's. So this item is worth a thousand and one hundred and eleven percent markup whoa isn't that crazy isn't that crazy you see the markup of the item it's all a hundred uh, yeah one 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 percent now you might when you loot this gun from a I don't know any of the punies you might go damn I feel so lucky it's so pet profitable but then when you look at the auction house you realize that there's like two pages of this stuff and for some damn reason they're not being sold <laughs> even though the buyout is one pit well 
the reason the price of this item is so high is because the TT is super low. The minimum bid, uh, mark, what do you call it? The minimum sell well, amount is one pet at a time. So if I try to sell an item, for example, what do I have that's less than one TT? Rookie Terra Master. It has attachments, right? Okay, so I sell this one item. You see how every time I press one, it goes up by one pet each time? It doesn't go up by five or like a point two because you can't actually click the pecs. They disallowed it. I think it used to be a feature, but they removed it. So you, by minimum standards, you have to press one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> right? So because that item has such low TT and you had to go up one by a time, uh, 111, 1011, whatever percent here is, is actually the minimum that can be sold for. And the, there's a listing fee to it as well. The listing fee is about like 0.5 something. So if you try to sell a Rubio, there's a high chance that even if you put it at the lowest price, it won't sell, number one. And two, if it does sell, you are losing like 40 pe peck or something, so or, or 56 peck. So you're only gaining like 30 peck. So, so if you have a Rubio, it's probably cheaper to TT it other than to try to sell it. Um, so I hope that makes some sense. And then the last part of uh, markup is you want to identify completely fake markups. So what's a fake markup? A fake markup is when people usually sell to a friend or, or maybe even themselves, which by the way is against the terms of service, but people have done it. And an example would be, uh, I think it's like a cloth extractor. Which one was, I forgot which one. I think it might've been inferior. Ah, there you go. So you see, you see the sales for these are like 600, not 600%, they're like 100% something. But then one guy, you see like a giant spike in the in the thing. <laughs> yeah, this has been done recently. Maybe they got banned. Okay, but you see all these giant spikes that goes up into like into like Neverland, like way up there. These are these are people trying to manipulate the auction house because if somebody sells it high all the way up here, you see the graph here. It's worth like a hundred percent, not even two hundred. But if someone sells it at fifty thousand percent, for example. The next guy tries to buy the blade. Oh shit, this stuff is worth 50k percent. And it's only on the auction house for 400 percent What a deal! Let's just buy it. No, 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 don't buy it for 400 percent That's a ripoff. And then there's another type of spikes. There's the inverse version, the one that goes all the way down. Usually those are mistakes. That sales volume. If you're not into ma um, math, I, I, I think you're going to hate this part of the stream, but hey. So sales volume. So this item has about 700 pet sales a day, a month. Um, it's got some sales every day of the year, it seems, approximately. So it's it's okay. It's not the greatest market. Um, let's see another one. Level 6. So level 6 amplifier is a really weird amplifier. <laughs> it, sells, it sells 12k a month. So in, in selling in selling and crafting or anything, you, you want to look at this amount. The number here basically tells you how fast it would sell. You got to relate it to the TT of the item. And if you look at maybe like a level, like a D class. I like D classes. But if you look at the D class sales volume, you'll see the, the level 6 would do 12K. This would do like almost half a million per month. So D class sells way better. Yeah, so you want to look at the club volumes and then if something has no volume like this stuff Like this stuff with no volume then probably won't sell at all So that's just some stuff to notice Hope you're good. Enjoy our uh, 10 minutes of training and in, uh, in, in Trades how to read the 